Welcome once again to Cooking Around's channel. Hello, hello. For you today, a breakfast treat. What is it? One pan breakfast burrito. Or you can call it a wrap. Now, my wife is always bothering me to make this. Can you make me an egg burrito for breakfast? And can I really blame her? Just take a look at this. This is awesome, you know, with the, with the cheese and the tomato and the egg. It's just out of the world really out of this world the mixture that, that goes together in this recipe is just fantastic what can i say let me show you this make your life easier start with a teflon pan and let's add about i say about close to two tablespoons of unsalted butter and let's get that melted down now your pan on medium high, uh, let the pan get hot and let's put in about two eggs and a, just a dash of milk, stir it around and put it right into the center pot like this and let's leave it for a couple of minutes. Now I'm taking some cooked sliced ham, basically cold cuts, I slice them up and just spread it all the way around on top like this. You know, if you want, you can even add bacon. So I took some tomatoes here and I sliced them uh, very thin. The reason is, is because tomatoes tend to hold a lot of moisture and you really don't want your burrito to be on the wet side. Now let's add some pepper. How much? Once again, as much as you want, as long as you are happy. Now I did not add any salt to the egg mixture so I'm just putting a pinch here now. Now I want you to take a little peek and look under the eggs and to see how far we have come in the cooking and that the eggs are loose at this point. Now grab yourself a wrap, any kind of wrap, corn wrap, but here I'm using a wheat wrap and it's a little bit large because I want to add more filling. So now just put a plate on it, flip it over, put it in the pan and this is exactly how it should turn up. Now let's add some shredded cheese. Here I'm using white cheddar, but you can use any kind of cheese that you would like. And to give it that pizzazz flavor, I'm adding a mixture of sweet paprika and garlic powder. How much? As much as you would like. Okay, let's top it off with some chopped chives. Now, if you don't like chives, use green onions. If you don't like green onions, use parsley. Now, here comes the fun part. Just grab the edges like this. Well, let me get this thing angled correctly and just flip it over and just tap it on very gently. Do not over press it down because you do not want our mixture to come out. So, once again, thank you very much for allowing me to show you this video. I'm taking some pictures for uh, TikTok. And once again, once again, it's goodbye from Tony and Cooking Around.